Another skill when we are learning division is to remember our favorite numbers when we're doing our operations of multiplication and division. 10, 100, or 1,000. Okay. So we're following decimal patterns here. When we multiply by 10 and there was a decimal involved, we would move the decimal to the right because we want to make the number bigger. For example, if we had 132.3 and we times it by 10, we're multiplying by something bigger than 1, so that number is going to get bigger naturally. So we would just move it times 10, that means one place value, and we would just move it one time, and 1,323 is 132.3 times 10. So when we are multiplying, we are going to the right. So division being the inverse of multiplication, now we just move it you're right, to the left. I should say you're correct, not you're right, because I don't want to mess you up. So 132.3 divided by 10, if we are dividing by a number bigger than 1, the dividend has got to get smaller. So 132 and something divided by 10. We know with 10, we're just dealing with one place value. Okay? And so we move the decimal place once. We're taking it from here and we're moving it to the left. So the numbers, the digits of that number remain exactly the same. But it just started here and we are dividing by 10 and so it ends here, just one to the left. So 132.3 divided by 10 is 13.23 or 13 and 23 hundredths. So, what if we had 132 and 3 tenths divided by 100? Okay. 100, two zeros, two places. One, two. So we would take it and we would move it two places. The digits in the number remain the same. It just started here. We were dividing by 100, therefore two places, two numbers from there. One, two, and we add it in. So 132.3 divided by 100 is 1.323. Now sometimes, say we just have, uh, give me a number, 7.4 divided by, let's say, 1,000. Okay. 7.4 divided by 1,000, there are one, two, three digits that we are dividing by three place values. So we would need to move it three places, but we don't have that many numbers right there. So when we have that blank spot, we need to fill it with a holder because is that zero changing the value of 74? No, it's still 74 still 74. Still 74. So when we're moving it, and there isn't anything there, but we still need to move the decimal point three places, we can add those zeros. So it's still 74. We're not changing any of that, but we needed to add two zeros to move it from here to one, two, three places and get to there. Last thing I want to show you is if we have a whole number, 37, divided by 10. Sure, we can do it long division, 3 remainder 7, 3 and 7 tenths. We can do it that way, but 10 our friend. Remember, in whole numbers, they all have decimal points. They're just hiding. I like to say they're hiding in their pockets. So 37 holes, the decimal point's right there. If I'm dividing by 10, I need to move the decimal to the left. One zero means one place. And I would just bring it right there. So 37 divided by 10 equals 3.7. And that is decimal patterns with division, moving the decimals to the left.